Hey everybody, Geek Alchemy here. Going to make pineapple soap today. I am using pineapple fragrance, but this is not your traditional pineapple soap. Grenades for our armed forces fandom. Why in the world am I calling it a pineapple? Uh, because that was the old-fashioned term for it, believe it or not. Right, sorry, I'm back. Had to get something. Uh, our fragrance oil today is pineapple, and if you notice the soap looking a bit yellow, that is because I have put in around 25 grams of infused turmeric oil. Now that is a part of the soap weight amount so that it's not overly diluted. Alright. And now we're going to go ahead and put in the lye. Now, some of you might ask, why in the world am I even making an Armed Forces fandom when there's so many other even real life fandoms to choose from? Well, my husband was in the military for eight years before he got out due to injuries. And this is my way of celebrating his and all the other soldiers and squids and flyboys. And of course, I'm saying all this with just, you know, well meaning. I don't mean anything nasty by it, it's just what they call each other. Alright, so I'm going to give this a quick whiz. Protect your ears. Alright, I don't want to... See that, boys and girls? I had a little bit of a splashy going on. You can get too excited with your soap making. Alright, I'm going to pause you guys and clean up my mess. Okay, hello. I'm back. Cleaned up my mess. Wasn't a big one. Um, I'm sure it's coming through a bit orange on screen. It is orange uh, for sure right now. I may have added just a scotch too much of uh, turmeric, but I noticed when I played with this fragrance before that it kind of tans the soap a little bit and I wanted to make sure that if it does change the color it doesn't do it so dramatically that it can't still be seen as a yellow color when it does calm down. Oh, and just to let you guys know that I do plan on creating these together because they are they are an ice mold made to uh, come together and create a fairly large ice cube. So I plan on trying the whole piece out, not as a cold process just because of the fact that I don't know how much this mold actually holds so I can't weigh out the appropriate I can't calculate out the appropriate amounts I need uh, so I'm just gonna wait and do melt and pour anything left over that doesn't fit in the amount of molds I have right now 
are going to go in my bar molds, which you've already seen with the Mima soap. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the corner. It's my 100% lard soap, no fragrances, no uh, colorants, no essential oils, just plain lard soap that your Mima would make. All right, I'm trying to fill this up a bit. I don't want to overflow it, which I'm actually really afraid I'm going to do. All right. Now pause this, move it over. I'll be right back. All right, here we go for the plain mold. Anybody who would like to try it out but doesn't want to have a grenade looking soap has the option. Ah, get back there. It's getting thicker on me now. Give this a little shake. Anybody who would like to see me make uh, the grenades into the melt and pour soaps, give me a, a like down below so I know you would actually like to see that on film. Otherwise, I'll just be putting it up on the website once they're ready to be sold. And I'll probably hold off on those until these are ready, which will be about September 1st. By the time you guys see this, it'll probably be when school starts. I know I just got done uh, with some back to school shopping. Did you hear the thunder? Are you okay? It's okay. So. Yeah, today I just got done with some back-to-school shopping, and it wasn't too awful bad. I mean, granted, it was just the school supplies. It wasn't the clothes. The clothes I am actually dreading quite incredibly, just because it's never cheap, and... Well, you know how it is, especially when you have teenagers. I mean, officially the youngest isn't a teenager just yet, but we consider her one, even if she doesn't. I'm going to come back over here since the soap is harder now and try and fill in the rest of the grenades. Oh, this is working out better than I thought it would. Hey, I'll take it. All right. Yeah, this is nice and thick now. I can move it around. Should be all I need for this one. And I won't be surprised if I end up having to clean these up a bit. It'll be alright if I do. No biggie. You know, I think I'm going to get a spoon to help me out. Any other soap makers out there try something like this? 
If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts or even share a video with me. Let me see your version. I love watching soap videos. I love watching Royalty so Katie from Royalty Soaps. I love watching Kenny from Royal Appleberry and Sarah from Spicy Pinecone. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, Erian from La, Fli La Fille de la Mer. Oh, oh, I butchered that. I'm so sorry, Erian. Oh my gosh. Hey, guys, give me some suggestions. I need more people to watch. <laughs> Hey, looks like I'm actually going to be able to get the firing pin in here. That makes me really happy. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I was really stressing not getting it in there. Get back here. There we go. Oh yeah, and how can I forget Holly from Missouri River Soaps or B from Sorcery Soaps? That soap dough, oh my gosh, you guys, you have to go check out Sorcery. If you love molds or embeds, she teaches you how to make your own embeds and essentially use soap as Play-Doh. It's great. Seriously, you gotta check it out. So anyway, while I was out today... Uh, my main stop was Office Depot for the kids' school supplies. Uh, not just because I have their rewards card, but also because they sent me a coupon. If I spent $75 worth of product, I would be able to get a $20 gift certificate. And I took full advantage of that because um, I had to spend the money anyway. And why not for later on when, you know, who knows, I might need more school supplies or I want to get something there for my business. It's a win-win for me. Alright. Uh, for those curious, I soaked warm or hot, depending on who you talk to. Um, my oils were at about a hundred and my lye was at a hundred and ten. So it worked out really well for me. I like this consistency. Um, the reason I soap so high, if I think I mentioned in, in a past video, but if I haven't, the reason I like soaping so warm is because I have mango butter and I've found that if I soap even in the 80s my soap ends up getting really hard on me and gloppy and just overall if you want to make any designs whatsoever or be able to fill in you know tiny cracks of a mold it's next to impossible so that's why I prefer soaping so warm and I'm sure if anyone else out there, you know, uses hard butters like cocoa butter or kokum or elipe or anything like that, they have probably the same procedure. Alright, well, since these guys are full and I still have other soaps, or still have more soap in my container, I'm going to grab... A couple of my sample sizes. Woohoo! I'm alright. <laughs> Just a couple things crashing down on my face, that's all. It's all good. I'm gonna use this guy. See how it says soap in there? Don't worry, y'all. These were covered up wash before I even put them in there. They're nice and clean. No need to worry. I set that guy right there. I'm 
going from so high up to make sure that the soap reaches the bottom entirely. Otherwise, we'll have air pockets. And air pockets are a pain in the tush. Bloop. There we go, that works. I'm going to calculate my weights before I figure my prices. Um, the bar molds, the uh, rectangular, regular size looking soaps, they'll be selling for $5. Everything else I'm going to weigh it out before I set an exact price just because I want to make sure you guys are getting the best price possible. Now these purple ones, the these purple molds, the soap, the ones that say soap on them, may be about the same weight. So they might be around five dollars themselves, but something tells me they're less. And I know the grenades are probably around the bar mold size. They'll probably be around five dollars themselves. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm not gonna quote anything just yet except for the ones that I know how much they should cost, and that's the bar molds. So, the rest I will have up on my website. And I'll price them out for you there on the webpage so there's no confusion later. Definitely looking like this one is not going to make the cut. So I'll set that one aside for a freebie. And anyone who orders from my shop, I try, when I do my samples, I try and include samples of items you haven't bought so that you can try more things out without you know necessarily having to buy absolutely everything so keep that in mind when you shop what I do hand out samples and if for whatever reason I don't happen to have enough samples to go around then I hand out uh, gift certificates. Essentially, I'll give you a coupon code and then you can use that to your heart's delight on anything in the store. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it anymore. All right, guys, you have a geeky day. See you later.